Hey, I can hear you now. All right, cool, cool. I'm joined with the homie Easy, the DJ. He's uh, representing Kentucky, but he's actually at Ohio this evening. Got a lot going on there. What's up, man? Uh, man, I can't call him, man. Just getting ready for the gig tonight. How y'all doing? Good, man. Good to have you on the show. Appreciate you. Um, representing for the local music scene. One of the hard-working individuals that I know of, because every weekend I see you doing something, man, whether it's Kentucky or whether in, in Ohio where you at. Uh, but I appreciate you. I first heard of you like a couple of years ago through a friend, a mutual friend that we have, Mike Hero. Shout out to him. Um, yeah, shout out to homie for sure. Y'all, y'all have collaborated with each other. Y'all have done shows together in the past. So that's uh, how I heard of you. And I was at that uh, Richmond, Kentucky event, Grind to Shine, I think that's what it's called. I was there. Uh, a couple okay, of yeah, Grind to Shine with yeah, so shout out to DJ Um We'll get to you tonight in a matter of moments. But first thing first, how did for you, you know, being the DJ and being in hip hop and all? Well, really, it started was, uh, you know, I was, I was a young cat in middle school and uh, I had already, already had, but I had always had a thing for, you know, just writing me. Uh, I never knew how to record, so uh, you know, the first dude I ran into was uh, the videographer Bob Munson, and at that time he wasn't shooting videos; he was actually a rapper. And um, man, he, he was just—they was freestyling in the back of the bus, and I didn't really know them at that time, so I was sitting in the front, and I heard them rapping and stuff, and I'm like, man, I can rap too. So uh, you know, I just started kicking verses at the front of the bus, and then I went back there with them, man, and uh, you know we. Went to his crib, you know what I'm saying? They heard me spit. We went to his crib. Uh, and then we recorded on one of those old uh, webcam microphones from back in the day with the with the webcam uh, microphone t- uh, taped on the wall in the hallway with the beat playing in the other room so it wouldn't mess up. And that's really where it started for me, man. It's just more so I always had a love for music. And when I got that first opportunity, but once I picked up the DJ thing, it was just like, Instant. I knew that's what I wanted to do. I knew that's where I wanted to be at. And I just ain't left since then. I definitely respect that, man. Um, you know, I've been familiar with you as a DJ before I heard that you did your own music. And I know some people share your your music videos. I'm like, I was a rapper too. So I, I checked out yeah. some of your joints and uh, I was you know, you you definitely grinding. You do you doing some incredible things, staying active, always doing gigs here and there. Um, you know, for for a guy like you, you you definitely keep things going, in Richmond, Kentucky, and you also have you know done shows in Central Kentucky and 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 also in Ohio and other areas. How would you describe? Your, your your weekend schedule, man, like multiple shows a week and all. Uh, man, really is hectic, man, because, uh, you know, even even though I'm busy the weekend, man, you know, you still have your home base, so you got to have a little job or something to fall back on. So, you know, it, it gets real hectic, man, because, you know, I'll sit here and I'll go DJ to 2, 2.30 in the morning. You know, normally Mike Hero is with me, so I'll slide and hit slide in the spot. By the time I get home, it's normally 3.30, and then I get up 5 o'clock and head to work at 6. So, it's just like, you know, I just try to keep, uh, you know, I catch as many naps as I can on the weekend. But, you know, the others here, they're just trying to, I mean, the busy you are, I feel like the busy you are, you have to waste, you know. And I'm, not, I'm a firm believer if you waste time, you might miss your blessing. So, I just try to stay as busy as possible doing something productive with my life just to, you know, stay stay afloat, stay in the net, stay in the word. You know, so keep everybody buzzing about me. Most of this is just like it's like therapy almost, but it's like you got to find your therapy within the madness. You know what I'm saying? Wow! So you be like DJing till like two, three o'clock in the morning, 
and then you find yourself, you know, doing your job a couple of hours after that. Like, man, yeah, I, I don't know how you pull that off, man. But, but, but you know, opportunities, you know, are hard to come by, and when they come your way, you best take it, man. Try to get yourself out there. So, so I respect your grind for, for sure, uh, for what you do. Um, so, so let's talk about you being in Ohio. You just um, you got into Ohio uh, recently, moments ago. Um, what you got in store for Ohio that the you know the people out there need to check out? Uh, man, tonight, man, I'm gonna be doing the DJ thing. So really, I'm just gonna be uh, you know, really putting putting forth my best effort to give them the best show possible. Um, it's a newer club called Fusion Nightlight. So this club probably just opened up a little ago. Um, and it's crazy. I actually been trying to get into this club for they open, and uh, I end up knowing somebody who was having a party here, and I was like, all right, well, and they called me, they booked me, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, you know, normally, normally I'm just going to give them the best I can, man, and, and give them, put on a show, you know, I ain't going to shortchange the people, you know, what they want to hear is what I'm going to give them, uh, it should be a decent crowd and everything, so I'm just looking forward to uh, getting in front of these this new group of people and really showing them, you know, what I do, what they touch you know, for me in the city as well, the state, um, and, and just really showing, you know, like, <laughs> it's, 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 it's people everywhere that can make sure y'all's business go good, you know, and I'm definitely one of them, so that's pretty much what I, you know, how I'm going into this night, you know, just making sure that they get everything they want to hear, um, they're satisfied, and uh, just making sure that I keep them on that dance floor all night. So I have the poster in front of me. It is Monzel and Zach's B Day de- uh, Bash tonight. Uh, easy the DJs on the ones and twos. It's at Fusion's Nightlife, and it's gonna be at 416 Park Avenue at Iron Ohio. So if you find yourself anywhere near that area, go check out the show. Celebrate a birthday. Enjoy a uh, easy. And enjoy some energy while you at it, and um, and uh, support the dude, man. Came all the way from Kentucky to be a part of this. So uh, it is at Fusion Nightlife. Doors open at nine o'clock. So <laughs> it's actually opening in about four minutes from now. So I appreciate you taking the time to do this before you uh, get to work and everything. So what else you have in the works as far as upcoming gigs and maybe you may have new music in the works. Um, what else you have in the coming weeks as we approach the uh, fall season? Uh, right now, man, I'm just working on uh, some short films um, to release uh, shortly after fall. Um, in the fall season, I just plan on uh, releasing the, uh, well, actually not releasing, but we're doing Trap Fest from my website, WeTrapMusic.com. Um, we, we got a Week Trap Fest October 12th at the Really Rich Lounge. So I just plan on, uh, you know, putting together this networking event, make sure everything goes well. Um, you know, I got a few guest speakers on the panel. Uh, Rob Jackson, Mino Slick, the Brian Corrado will be guest speaking to all the artists. Uh, a dope lineup of artists. Uh, producers is going to be showcasing beat. It's it's a real uh, nice thing, you know, to really get. Yeah, shout out to Divine Kawama, my local hero right there. Um, so you got the We Trap Music Festival coming up, and he's got he's bringing back his Brown Sugar Showcase in December. So it is some good times to be in the local hip hop community. That you know, artists. That's looking for platforms. So shout out to you and shout out to Divine for hey, for having a variety. So yeah, um, man, Divine definitely been a big um, and uh, you know just speaking on Divine, Divine definitely been a big help. Um, the 
brown sugar back in the day when I was young, man. That was one of my favorite events to perform at, um, just because people actually music I was doing. I always felt like I had a uh, different style of music, and uh, um, it's more so realistic life stuff. You know, I've been through a lot of life, and um, the main thing I try to focus on is just the best possible version of me, and uh, it always gave me a to do that at his shows, so definitely a big shout out to the big homie, man. He's done a lot for the scene, done a lot for the city, uh, you know, so it's definitely a motivation. So. Uh, absolutely. And promote your social media links. Uh, where can people check you out, and where can people uh, listen to your music and everything else? Uh, yeah, so you can find me on every. Um, Twitter, Instagram, uh, iTunes, Spotify, everything is easy to DJ, all one word, E A Z Y, the DJ. Um, you can look, check out my latest project that I dropped away this year called Stories. Uh, it's definitely a, a nice little five song EP uh, put together based off some life experiences that I had dealt with. And uh, it's a lot of pain in it, but it's a lot of realness in it. I think, you know. Considering, uh, you know, a lot of people hear a lot of things on the radio, which I like the new music now, but, you know, sometimes you have to bring them back to earth with the real music. So uh, if you're looking for something to really listen to, definitely look up E-A-Z-Y, the DJ, all one word. Um, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, E-A-Z-Y, the DJ. Uh, yeah, Facebook and all that, man. You can just find me online. Um, if you're feeling it, hit me up. I'll come back to every i follow back, so. Great chat with you, man. Thank you for taking the time, you know, and as you prepare for your gig tonight in Ohio, uh, do you, man, and uh, I look forward to seeing more of you in the future, and I'm definitely going to keep an, uh, an eye on that festival. Um, so thanks for your time, man. Continue success, and, uh, and I'll see you again down the road. All right. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. Yes, sir. You have a good night.